Good afternoon, Mr. Blair. Good Thank afternoon. you very much for granting us this interview. Former UK Prime Minister, you founded Face Foundation, which aims to bring answers to the challenges of globalization. Could you tell us what your point is? My point is very simple, that in a, in a world of globalization, where both physically through immigration and uh, virtually through the internet, in a world where people by those means come closer together and live alongside each other, they have to understand each other across the barriers of faith or culture. So in my view, for the world to work today, for countries like ours, but also in different parts of the world, for, for those countries to succeed, we have to educate our, our young people to an open-minded and tolerant view of the world. And that's what I, the, the foundation is, is designed to promote. More specifically, what can be Tony Blair Face Foundation's role in the Middle East conflict? I think the big issue in the Middle East is really to do with the place of religion in politics. And if countries, as we can see after the Arab Spring, want to move towards democracy without instability, disorder and chaos, then the relationship between religion and politics has got to be right. And what, what that means is that there's got to be a situation in which people of different faiths and different sects within a faith can live together peacefully because democracy in the end is a pluralistic concept. Democracy doesn't work if it's simply a way of voting. It's got to be a way of thinking. Tony Blair Faith Foundation provides support for students to become open-minded leaders for the future. Would you say that the role of higher education in international employability is increasing? Yes, I mean, I think the, 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 the work that's been done internationally in higher education is really all about educating people for a world in which, you know, they will probably travel to different countries, have a different set of work experiences through their life and where they're going to have to be mixing with people from different cultures, nations, races, faiths. So for me, it's a absolutely essential that they have a, an education that is sufficiently broad that when they come across someone who is, is different from a different culture, then they're, they're able to relate to them, to understand them, you know, to see the diversity of the world today as, a, as an opportunity and not as a threat. What do you think about specific education, educational programs for girls? Education for women is a major, major cause in the world um, because um, it's important for the economy because I mean, you know, the economy today works through the development of human capital. If you leave half the human capital of your country undeveloped, it's a very foolish thing to do economically. But also because the attitudes that keep women back are attitudes that are really intolerant and close-minded. So if, if the key to the world is the open mind, then um, equality for women, and that obviously includes and must include w education for girls, becomes central. One last question, Mr. Blair. Is there anything special that you expect from young French people about tolerance and open-mindedness? How could they convey your message? If you look at the history of France, and in particular the part that French philosophers and thinkers played in creating the modern world today um, and in liberating people from um, old-fashioned intellectual and philosophical and political attitudes. If you think of the part historically France has played, and if you think of France today, which is a, a multicultural nation with, with people from all over the world that, that, that will come here and work here, you know, young French people have, a, I think, a, a both a unique historical perspective and a unique um, actual experience, which can allow them to be very good ambassadors for global citizenship. So, you know, I, having spent time in France myself as a young person, I mean, I think France has a a culture that really is at its best and at its most comfortable with the open mind. Thank you very much for talking to us, Mr. Blair. It's a pleasure. Thank you.